Now, I do always recommend air cleaning, which is a different type of filtration than a filter, but if you're gonna use a filter, you want it to be the right one. You ask your comfort and energy questions and they get answered. This is the Ask Derek Cole Show. What filter should I use in my house? You should use the best filter for your home. Um, and let me explain this because it's kind of hard to understand. It depends on your house and your duct system as to which fil filter you need. Now, I do always recommend air cleaning, which is a different type of filtration than a filter. But if you're going to use a filter, you want it to be the right one. Now, you go to the box store, they got like two rows of filters. I'm sorry, two aisles of filters, really, because you got the cheap one for like a dollar, and then you got like the 30 $50 filters, you're like, well, that one must be better because it's that much. But your system will determine what filter it can handle. So if you have a tight home, a newer home, and it's a tight construction, energy efficient construction, and your duct system is tight, then putting a really high MERV rated filter in that system could cause more problems than good. So you could put in a filter that stops up the airflow, which is a problem. Uh, on the other side of the spectrum is a cheaper filter or a cheap filter, 80 cent dollar filter you put in there and it's not very good at all because you know the only thing it's stopping is sandwich bags and, and Coke cans and anything else you throw at it. Yeah, it's 100% efficient at stopping that, but 98% of what we're trying to stop are the particles you cannot see. So if you look at your TV or your cabinet and you see dust on it, we're not trying to filter that because it's so heavy it's sitting there. You're trying to filter the particles in the air that are coming through and those you cannot see. So you need a better filter for that. Once you get into air cleaning, then you actually stop filtration and go into air cleaning and the reason you want to do that is because now you're getting the small particles you cannot see and you're not stopping up your duct system so if you go to the filter on the return grill and it's too tight and the filter is getting sucked in then the filter is too much for that system to handle so you need to go down in filters um i mean it's a case-by-case -case basis i mean some houses are older they're very open the duct system is very leaky you know they can handle a merv 15 filter in there because they're leaking so much air very few of that very few very small amounts of air are coming through that anyway so it's not stopping it up um it's kind of a complicated answer but it really depends on what kind of system you have the best thing to do is get the technician when he does your maintenance every year, it's to check your system and recommend what filter is better for you because some are good, some are bad. It really depends on your situation. I don't even think I answered that question. I went around in circles. It depends. I mean, it really does depend. Uh, I, I've been to a house before and his filter was too good. So I opened the filter grill and the filter is getting sucked in and the air is bypassing the filter and going through the four corners and not through the filter. So, you know, you're defeating the purpose of what you're trying to do, which is filter the air. So, it all depends. Why is my return grill whistling when my air is on? It's whistling because your filter <laughs> is too good. <laughs> No, uh, it could be that. It could be uh, your return side duct system is too small and your filter grill is too small. Um, bigger is better when it comes to your return. So you really, for all purposes in a residential application, you really can't have too much return or too big of a return grill uh, in your house. So. Uh, the return grill is too small, therefore your return duct is too small, and therefore the air is whistling as it goes by because of a tight fit. So check your filter, and probably your return duct is too small in that situation. 
therefore you return grills to the spawn. We, we go to a lot of homes where we go to change out a unit and the return grill is too small. Uh, it's not sized properly. Um, actually in the state of North Carolina, if you have an over 1600 square foot house and you change out the duct system, you're supposed to have more than one return. Um, so we've run into that a few times and we run into the situation of the return grills is too small. So you're not returning enough air back to the system. So the system itself is sucking in air from outside under the house in the attic through the walls, whatever it has to do, it's getting the air to the unit. It's, but, kind of go back to the filter question, you wanted it to be clean, conditioned air going back to the unit and not hot, humid, or cold outdoor air uh, going back to the unit, which is not filtered. So, it goes hand in hand. Filter and return.